Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the 7900 XTX and how it performs in various local LLMs as well as image generation. I'm going to start out with image generation where I'm going to be looking at a program called Amuse. One of the problems is running stable diffusion on AMD is a little bit tricky. I've gotten it to run, but it's not fully supported yet. You have to kind of download an unsupported uh, fork so what we're going to do is we're going to run three image prompts we're going to run them at high quality and we're going to also run them at fast and we'll be taking a look at the images that are created so the first one i'm going to be really focusing on like a character uh really looking at kind of the details and stuff that can be generated but more importantly what i want to care about is the actual performance of this so the performance here you can look at we're looking at about three iterations per second at high quality. I'll fast forward through some of this as we go forward just to save some time. Uh, but in general, the performance across all of the images that were generated really were fairly even. At high quality, we averaged about 31 and a half seconds for all four images to be created. And we averaged about 10 point no, I'm sorry, 3.0 iterations per second at high quality. At low quality, which or fast quality, what we're going to be looking at here is an average of about three seconds to generate the four images and about 10.6 iterations per second. Uh, the images that were created with the Muse are actually quite good. Some of them are better than others. I really like some of the uh, deep sea ones that were created uh, but i did three different categories people uh, architecture as well as a deep sea creature just to see the variety there then uh, i'm moving over to test gemma 2b gemma 2b um, is a 2 billion parameter model i'm using lm studio to run all of this gemma performed just as you would expect, just exceptionally well. As you notice, I also am keeping up the performance uh, on screen here too, so you can at any time see kind of how much GPU is actually being used. So Gemma as a whole, it, it averaged about 147 tokens per second across all the runs. Now the runs that I do, I run nine prompts and I run these several times. The first three prompts are geared towards math. The second three prompts are geared towards writing. The third prompts are geared towards uh, coding. And I run that across a series of models. So the, the next model we're going to take a look at is PHI-4. I've been calling it PHI-4. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's actually an unofficial model. It's a model that was released very recently and someone did an un official release of it to Hugging Face so I could actually run that in LF Studio correctly. I've actually really been liking this model and on average it's been getting about 50 tokens per second and honestly the answers have been pretty good. Um, it's been able to do a few things that I would normally go to like Claude with and the performance of it is just phenomenal being able to run it locally and you can see um, that it's hitting the GPU great, like it fits into memory perfectly. And I actually, when I run it for myself, I actually increase the um, context window. So I actually load a lot more tokens than the standard 4096 that I have here. The next model, which I thought was actually going to perform slightly worse than 5.4, is the Metal Llama 3.1 uh, 8 billion Q8. Now, what Q means is how much it's compressed. So if you do like a Q2, it's going to be highly compressed. If you do a Q4, it's less so. And Q8 will be the least compressed. Um, or less compressed than the Q4, for example. And what it did is it actually performed better than 5.4. It, it performed uh, 69 uh, tokens per second. And then I got to realize and that makes total sense because it's an 8 billion parameter model. It's very uncompressed. It's performing better than 5.4 because 5.4 has actually got more parameters than that. I just had to assume that the Q8 was going to perform 
worse just because of the size of the image that had been loaded. It's it's pretty large, uh, but still smaller than 5.4. Anyway, uh, the next model I ended up loading, I do a pretty big jump to 27 billion parameters. That is the Gemma 27B. This is one I actually use quite a lot, honestly. It's one that I have come to really like running locally, especially when I'm doing um, just things for like writing or checking over emails and things like that. Uh, I also use it a lot for coding. It's not as good at coding in my opinion, but it's still reasonable for easy things like boilerplate stuff. Anyway, it averaged about 28 tokens per second on the 7900 XDX. And you can very clearly see the first token starting to take longer and longer as the context fills up. So initially, you know, you run your first one on an empty context window. You're going to be getting about 0.2 seconds to the first token. As you fill up the context window, it may even creep up to a second, a second and a half. I had one of my tests get about that. Uh, it really just depends on how full that context actually is. The next model I'm running is the QWQ 32 billion parameter model. It's a preview model that I've been running. I actually really, really like this model, but it can also be very annoying. Uh, and if you've played with this model, you may know why. The QWQ model is fantastic at at reasoning, but it also confuses itself a lot and then just starts going off into a tangent. So it averaged about 21 parameters per sec or tokens per second. And there were a couple cases, which I'll show just pieces of here, where it just went off on a its own tangent and, and delivered like a ton of tokens, which filled the context window. So the time to first token actually, especially for the very first set of math equations, uh, got up to about six seconds by the time I asked it the third question. Because the way I wanted to do the test is I wanted to ask all three questions in the same category, in the same context window, just to make it a fair, uh, fair comparison. But it, you know, it's not always apples and oranges because each context window, I tried to keep it the same. But also at the same time, you know, there's going to be different different token usage based on the answer they give. So we'll give very succinct, simple answers, which use a lot less context. QWQ filled the context and then some, so some of it had to be dropped off. I actually had one question basically go on an entire thing and made up an answer about a tank of water when the question was nothing about that. So wasn't very excited about that because it took a very long time for those to finish. Now, the final model I ended up running was the Llama 3.370 billion instruct. I cannot load this fully into memory on my GPU. So unfortunately, some of it gets offloaded to the GPU, which seems apparent because I'll see it spike in memory usage and I'll see it spike in usage, but a lot of it actually goes into system memory and it runs incredibly slow uh typically about 1.8 to 2.1 tokens per second more times than not though the more context it's in there it was less than two tokens per second time to start is it, it kind of varies but it's typically like three to five seconds honestly um and but i didn't didn't get like the context like super full but i'd imagine you know it can actually get a lot higher than that this is a model that answers very well, and I would love to be able to run this locally, but it just does not perform very well. Uh, so I'm going to close out here with just a simple chart to kind of show sort of the variance of models. Again, I'm using LM Studio. I have a 7900XDX with a 7800X3D CPU paired with 64 gigabytes of DDR5 running at 4800 megahertz. Um, they should be running at 6000. And I know someone may actually mention this in the comments below, but 4800 is what actually seems very stable. I was having some issues with stability. I'm still tuning that, but hopefully I can turn XMP back on once I work through that, um, which I believe part of the problem is my graphics card actually is overclocked and I had to tune it down some, which actually has helped a lot of the stability that I was having. It's not overclocked by me, it's overclocked by the vendor. And it took me a little bit to kind of figure that out. Anyway, 
I'd be curious if this is helpful for you um, or if there's any other models that you would like to have me test because these are the models that I primarily use and the 7900 XD, XDX has been awesome for me. It does a great job at image generation. It does a great job at any model about 32 billion parameters or less. Um, and ideally you just look at the size of the image and you can kind of judge pretty reasonably if it'll fit fit completely in there or not. Anyway, I appreciate it. Um, if you did like this, please give the video a like and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. Thank you so much. And until next time, keep coding.